Speaking of the Coliseum, that has been big news this week. USC fired a major shot across the Coliseum's bow earlier in the week, suggesting that they were willing to move to the Rose Bowl if the Coliseum Commission would not allow them to have ownership in the Coliseum. They want to pony up some money, renovate the place. They are upset that the bathrooms haven't been haven't been changed for a long time. This place is uh, kind of a dump, according to a lot of the USC fans. <laughs> and so, but a lot of people are very unhappy about the threat to move to the Rose Bowl. And here's what Mike Garrett had to say about all of this earlier in the week. He sent a letter to alumni all USC alumni and said this, USC has been negotiating diligently to renew our lease with the LA Coliseum. Talks are at an impasse and we have no lease for next year. As a precaution, USC has negotiated a lease with the Rose Bowl for the foreseeable future. We want our football program to remain at the Coliseum. That was Mike Garrett and he signed the letter to the alumni by the way, as Michael L. Garrett, class of 67, as an alumni, alumnus rather, as opposed to the athletic director. Now, UCLA responded to all of this because clearly they don't want USC to share their home stadium. And this is what their athletic director, Dan Guerrero, had to say about all of this. Any possible agreement would be for one year and subject to approval by UCLA. No long-term arrangement between USC and the Rose Bowl would even be considered by UCLA. Any temporary usage by USC at the Rose Bowl would have to be non-impactful. The Rose Bowl is UCLA's home. So making a pretty strong statement there that USC, you're not welcome <laughs> at no. the Rose Bowl. And USC wants to be here at the Coliseum. They really do. I've talked to Mike Garrett about this. I've talked to others in the athletic department. They want to be here. USC's fans want them to be here. It's right across the street from campus. It's a shorter drive for a lot of its big alumni base down in Orange County. This is where they want to be. But the things that Lindsay talked about, the scoreboard and the audio and the concessions and the restrooms, all those things. Rodney, I know you want us to be here, but. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and, and I, I want to add to that, but because there's, a, there's some sort of animosity that's going on between the Coliseum Commission and USC because I know the Coliseum wanted to attract an NFL franchise here to this stadium, and I know USC wanted to be the only show in town. So there's a little fist fight going on between USC and the Coliseum Commission about about having the NFL franchise share this stadium, the Coliseum, with USC. So uh, it could be very difficult uh, in negotiation. Essentially, they think that the Coliseum Commission spent a little bit too much time wooing the pretty girl that they weren't right. going to get anyways. And see, and I look at this whole battle is that I grew up in Los Angeles, and I remember when they actually used to share this particular stadium Until when 82. I was a, a right. young little pup trying to sneak into the Coliseum to watch the football games. And, you know, half of the, half of the stadium, it was great, but unfortunately, the Rose Bowl actually belongs to the Bruin family, and I would like <laughs> to keep it that way. Well, you know, the USC I think, student... I think USC is good going there one time a year. Let's put it that way. The USC bit. student government is trying to strong-arm the Coliseum Commission. Today, they have organized a boycott and asked everybody to refrain from purchasing concessions, and you know they did it this week because this is the biggest money-making week for the Coliseum with the USC-UCLA game here in town. So we will...